I'm going to show you something new here. I'm using the Elmo and I want to show you how to use the Casio, the FX115ES, by inputting these values in pretty quickly uh, for the quadratic equation. And this calculator is really neat because it's not a graphing calculator. It's a calculator typically under $20 that you can get at either Target, Walmart, Kmart, wherever. And here's what we had for our last problem that we worked where you had to use a quadratic equation. So you can still input these values into the quadratic equation and solve, but this calculator, the Casio, is able to process all of these values for you and calculate X. So here's A, here's B, and here's C. So looking at the values, what we want to do is, so we start our calculator off looking just like this, and I want to try to get so there's no glare. When we start off, what we'll do is, we'll, hopefully your calculator is in its regular mode. What we want to do is we want to change the mode or the setup. So you'll click on the button that says Mode Setup. And then what we want to do is click number 5 for Equation. So click 5. And then it gives you different options for what type of equation. And number 3 has AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0. That's the one you want. So you'll click 3, so you'll choose 3 on your, your keyboard here, and then it gives you this option. It kind of looks kind of simplistic, but we're going to input, input our values here. So A is x squared, well, the value in front of that is 1, so you type in 1, and then hit equal on your uh, calculator, and it puts that value right up in the top here. doesn't show it as cleanly, but there's a 1 there. Now we're going to plug in the value for B, which we had for B was 1.3 times 10 to negative 3. So we'll type that in here. So 1.3 times 10 to the negative 3. And then hit equal again. And then you'll notice that that value is placed in for B. Now we'll do it for C. And C in this case was negative 9.75 times 10 to negative 6. So we'll go, uh, oh, sorry, negative 9.75 times 10 to the negative 6. Input that in, and you'll notice that that value is now in for C. So now we have the values in for A, B, and C in our quadratic equation. We need to hit the equal sign one more time. And it takes a second or two, but it gives us our first value, x1. And notice that this is our positive value. 0 0.0025, essentially 4. So that's the value that we actually want for our answer here. Let me scoot it over so you can actually see it. So that's our positive x, and that's the value that we want for chemistry because the x represents either your hydrogen or your hydroxide concentration. That's what we want. Now, if you're using this function for, say, other math classes, if you down arrow, it'll give you your second x value, which should be a negative sign. Okay, so I hope this feature is helpful.